Hi, everybody. Ian Eagle along with Mary Carrillo. Labor Day at the U.S. Open and this report exclusively on CBSSports.com. The story of the tournament from Marietta, Georgia. 17-year-old. It continues. <laughs> and right now she has been playing Russian roulette. Any Russian in her way, Melanie Udan finds a way to win here at the U.S. Open. Mary, it's really captured the imagination of the tennis public and she is just such a tremendous story right now. She's in the quarterfinals here at Flushing Meadows, by the way. It's really something. She wasn't even in the top 200 a year ago, Ian. And all her dream last year was to try to get directly into the U.S. Open. Now she's indirectly, because she's had to work very hard into the quarterfinals. Another astonishing comeback today against Nadia Petrova, a seasoned veteran, yet another Russian. I mean, the kid, and, and she brought the whole crowd into it, which is what really yeah. ig ignited and excited all these people here today. It was an awful lot of fun because she couldn't even hold her own serve in that whole first set. Then things got interesting. And it's not too big for her. She's handling right. this like a seasoned pro. She's 17. <laughs> a year ago, you said she wasn't even in the top 200. Right. And here she is now in the final eight at the U.S. Open. And the way the draw has, has shaken out, I mean, there's no reason to think she can't keep going. Mm. I mean, that, that part of the draw that she's in, almost every big-name player is out of it. All the scary players are over on the bottom, including especially Serena Williams. So, and Melanie Udan has a much-needed day off tomorrow, so that should help her recharge because she's had so many three-setters, so much emotion. I mean, physically, mentally, emotionally, she's expended so much energy already, but she has energized this entire event. This is the single biggest story of this year's U.S. Open. All right, let's talk about the men. Roger Federer, like clockwork. This Swiss machine just keeps on rolling yeah. along. A straight set victory for the number one seed, five-time defending champion. And he looked uh, very impressive. He looked pretty snappy. Yeah, snappy. Know, in, the last <laughs> in the last round against Leighton Hewitt, the veteran Australian, you know, he, he stumbled around. He made, an, he made more unforced errors than winners, which is not like Federer at all. He, it all came right back to him today against a tough Spaniard, Tommy Robredo. You know, just... I, for him not to win his six U.S. Open titles is even a little hard to imagine. So we've got the surprise of Melanie Uden. We got what seems to be a lock with Roger Federer. After, uh, after watching him play today, I'm thinking he's going to be very hard to push back. And one quick note for Federer. Since they put the blue courts in yeah. here at the National Tennis Center, he's undefeated. Wow. He has never lost a match on the blue courts. For Mary Carrillo, I'm Ian Eagle. Thanks for joining us here on CBSSports.com.